so when then the day came that we now we get deported, we were the last one who were deported. Wait, may I say it wrong? By on the, the first beep, the people who came in our apartment were all deported. All deported before us, all of them. And then came, then came that there came from somebody, I was upset, somebody from the Gemeinde and said, you know, you go to Theresienstadt. Theresienstadt was meant to be for people over 65 or the uh, Kriegs, Kriegs, uh, people who the war, uh, uh, suffered, or anything like that. And then she said, Ruth, your daughter has to go to Riga. She cannot go with you because so and so. She's not his daughter. I said, but she is my daughter and is now our daughter. And my daughter goes there where I go. And nobody can change that. And they were so angry, and I was much more angry and upset. So they didn't give in. And I wouldn't let Ruth go alone, and we go. Even my husband would have done it. Not for a million dollars that you hear later. So I had no choice. Remember who I told you I should say? Sorry. You know what I did? I went to the Gestapo myself. I had nothing to lose. We were all ready for, for, for transport. So I went to, to, the, to, the, to the Gestapo. I said, what can I do for you? So I walk across the street from the, from the Jewish uh, 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 place. And I have only one daughter, I'm divorced, and I remarried. And my husband is a war veteran, a wonderful guy, and we are all happy together. And the, 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 the synagogue office wanted my daughter, she has to go to um, uh, Riga and separate us from us. And that's the reason I come to you. Please help me, because we are one family. <laughs> How old are you? I said, so and so. Do you work in your work, so and so. Blah, that's it. Two minutes later, I said, I write it down. Miss, Mrs. Polumta's daughter is going with her parents to the same place. And I brought that proudly to the, to the hell. Isn't that something they have to work for? But I thought, I wouldn't let her go. Never. Then we would have gone too. You know. Did you have any idea of what kind of place you were going to? What did they tell you? There were a lot of people already before us. See, we, we worked in the, in, the, in the Jewish situation. The one, we were not the last, the, we were the, about the, the two last ones who went. We were deported. September 1942. My sister and her family, they were deported in June 42. And my brother, Debbie, with his family, they were deported in 1941 with the whole family to Riga. Nobody came back, right? See, we stand because they still needed people to help. So, so one day, this so that is Theresienstadt, that's so early. So that's what happened. So, so we came to Theresienstadt, we were not told what it is. So you asked Ruth about that, she made that more than I know. So I, I remember very much for you to read, right? What were you allowed to take with you? We were allowed to take with us each a luggage that we can carry, but only one. And But we put all, like a little nightgown or something, toothpaste or whatever, in our handbag, ne? no money, God forbid, and anything. When we came in the train, our luggage came in the last truck, in the last car. I say that already. When we arrived, everything came out except the last car. We never saw our luggage back ever. That was already meant to be that way. So, when we were in the train, my husband got what is that through the boil, a very bad boil here. And there was a nurse, a Jewish nurse, she was with our own transport. And we know her well, I knew her too, who knew her too. And we told her that Otto is sick, and she put him in the next door t t car, with permission from the Gestapo, and she treated him for, for a day or two that he got better. He came back to us in our same place again, in the train. So, but she was a help. How long was the train ride? See, that I forgot. Maybe Ruth remembers. 
I don't forget her. Was it more than a day? More than I one for, day? I forgot. Because you said your husband went to another car and then yeah. came back? Yeah. Uh -huh. Did yeah, you get was, food on the train? Huh? Food on the train? Um, I think a baby got a sandwich. I don't remember yet. But there's one thing I remember. I had a five dollar bill in the nightgown in a, in a, in a girl <laughs> and had that hidden. My husband said, I wish you would throw it away. I wish you would. And he was right. And he was such a 100%, 200%. That's not good either for me. I said, it, maybe it helps a little bit. No. So I threw the money out, destroyed it. So the guy really came and checked me out. There was nothing in it. See, I could have been in trouble. Né? See, but sometimes you don't know. I don't know how long it took. I only remember that we that we got out of Theresienstadt. 